Hey guys, today I want to bring the stylized X model that we created with Blender, here you can see it, into Unreal Engine 4 and also the PBR textures. We already exported the textures from Substance Painter to Blender, but the ones that we need for Unreal Engine are a bit different. So we have to do this process again. But before we export the FBX files for the meshes into a separate folder, that's pretty simple. You see I already did this for the blade, the handle and the wraps. And then again I go to File, Export, Textures. First we select the directory to export into. For this I prepared a folder called Textures. But this time we don't use the Blender template for exporting. We choose the Unreal Engine Packed. Let's have a look at this, we also have a base color and a normal map, but we have one texture for the occlusion, roughness and metallic. I come back to this when we create the materials in Unreal Engine. Ok, now just press export to export the textures. And then we can press this button to open the directory and here see the exported textures. Ok, and I'll do exactly the same for the other objects, for the handle and the wraps. These are the same steps, so I'll speed this up a bit. Ok, after the export we open Unreal Engine, this is version 4.25 and for the project type I choose Games. We can use the blank project type, it has a good lighting setup, a global post-processing, very easy to handle. I keep all the settings as they are and press Create Project. Ok, here we go, we have a few sample objects in the scene and a directional light. For this I increase the intensity a bit. And then I search for the global post-processing volume. And for this I also increase the exposure. I want this to be really shiny and bright, so that we can see the textures and the materials pretty good. Ok, we can get rid of these demo objects and then build again the lighting so that these baked shadows disappear. Alright, and now let's create two folders, one for the models and one for the textures. Awesome, and now let's drag the FBX files that we exported for the models into the models folder. Then the FBX dialog is popping up and we can just import all. Ok, here they are, three separate objects. I wanted them to be separate, because this gives us the flexibility to, for example, hide a certain part that you don't want to use. You can also add the parts to a blueprint actor, for instance. That can be configured, but I will show this in a separate tutorial. You see that the pivot points of the separate objects are matching. They're just exported as we defined them in Blender. This is not always what you want, but in this case it helps. By the way, you can also change the pivot point in Unreal Engine by pressing Alt and the middle mouse button and then you can drag around the gizmo. Ok, again I build the lights and then I go ahead and drag in the textures. You see that's all straightforward, it's just a matter of drag and drop, but now comes a part that is a bit more tricky. Three pop-ups appear because three textures are recognized as normal maps and you can press OK to import these as normal maps. And for each object we have three textures. The base color, also known as albedo, you see a normal map. The checkbox for sRGB is already unchecked and this has to be done for the roughness, metal and occlusion textures as well. 
So open them and uncheck sRGB. This sRGB does something that is called gamma shifting, which lifts certain color values for 8-bit images, but we don't want this for maps that don't deal with color. So the base color, the albedo map, is the only map where you need it. Okay, so let's continue and create the first material. And this one is for the blade object. I call it matte blade and then double click to open the material editor. Okay, now let's drag in the textures, first the albedo. And this one I connect with the base color input. Then the normal map to the normal input. Also very easy, but now comes the roughness, occlusion and metal. This is one texture. Okay, and now watch carefully. We have to connect certain slots. We have to connect the blue output to the metal input of the material node. Then the green output to the roughness and the red one to the ambient occlusion. Okay, that's it. The material is created and we can just drag it onto the blade object. And this looks pretty good. Okay, and now we do the same for the other objects as well, but I'll speed this up for you. It's the same process. Great, that's it, and I have to say I'm really happy with the result. Okay, a last thing that I want to mention is that this video is sponsored by CG Trader. For those who are not familiar with CG Trader, it is an online platform where you can buy or sell 3D models. I had a look at the models and I have to say they are professionally made. Seems like CG Trader has a good review process and they have a huge library with many categories. The link is added to the description and check it out because at the moment they are running a big sale with discounts up to 70%. So take the opportunity, it runs till Tuesday. Okay guys, I hope you liked the tutorial. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also follow me on my social media on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And think about to join JNM as a member. If you have any questions, add these to the comments and I see you in the next one here on JNM.